Hey everyone, my name is Iman and today I'm gonna talk about what is this crazy NFT or sometimes called Nifty. NFT stands for non-fungible token. To understand it, let's look at the definition of fungible. Fungible is something that can be replaced by another identical item or mutually interchangeable. So non-fungible more or less means something that is unique and cannot be replaced with something else. To better understand, let's divide everything in the world to fungible or non-fungible, physical or non-physical. For example, a dollar is physical and fungible. I can give you a dollar and you can give me back four quarters. The value is the same and they are treated identical. A bitcoin is a digital example of fungible asset. Non-fungible is something that is unique. This original painting is something that is physical and non-fungible as it's one of a kind. Of course there can be thousand copies of this but there is only and only one masterpiece. A digital art like drawing is also non-fungible. Again you can copy this hundred times but this original work belongs to one artist. When we talk about NFT, we are talking about non-fungible digital assets. So what is token here? Token is a voucher that can be exchanged for goods or services. For example, if you have this voucher, you can exchange it for pizza. Token in NFT is a digital certificate that shows your ownership in a digital asset. And this ownership is recorded in a blockchain, which is the foundation of all cryptocurrencies like bitcoins. I have a video on this to simply explain the concept if you are interested to know more. So what are some examples of Nifty? NFT can be anything digital, like even a tweet, or an image, or even a GIF, you name it. So you might say I get it, but what is in this game for the artists? Well, it's a way to sell their work that otherwise might not be much of a market for. Also NFT offers royalty feature, meaning every time their work get sold to someone else, they get a percentage, like 10%. So what is in this game for the buyers? First, it's a way to financially support the artists they like, which I, I'm personally very excited about. Second, they have basic rights to do, for example, post the image online and stuff like that. They also have bragging rights. They can say they own a cool piece of art and their ownership is protected by blockchain, another fancy word to show off. Finally, Similar to any other assets, the buyers hope the value goes up one day so they can sell it for a profit. That's it for this video, thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.